Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I've updated anything on this channel and that's 100% my fault. Uh, you see, after the Switzerland trip, I actually went over to Australia for quite some time and with work and everything else in between, I just didn't have the time to edit my videos. But rest assured, I'm back and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. We'll have a lot of exciting contents coming up for you. Now, for those of you who stuck around, thank you so much and thank you so much for coming back. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Johnny. I'm here to elevate your travel with points, miles, loyalty program, travel hacks and everything else in between. So be sure to like this video and give us a follow if you find this helpful for you. Okay, so now let's get into today's topic, which is very exciting. So let's take a look over here at the monitor. So, Japan Airline rolls out a complimentary domestic flights program to international passengers. What does that mean, right? So, if we look at the diagram here, if you're flying into Tokyo from a foreign country, let's say Singapore, and if you want to move on to a separate Japanese city, let's say Sapporo, then you actually get this domestic leg for free and it works vice versa as well. So if you're leaving Sapporo, going to Tokyo and leaving Tokyo to a foreign country, let's say Singapore, then you will still get that domestic leg for free, which is pretty good. But what does this mean to the points and miles community, right? Because that's all we care about is uh, a war space. And what, what does that do? Is there a, maybe a trick or a advantage for us and the answer seems to be yes okay and i don't want to credit myself i actually saw this online somewhere okay so let's look take a look at uh, american airlines for uh, jl redemptions so what we want to do is we'll just take sapporo as the example which is cts and we're gonna say going over to jfk on tax day uh, April 15th. Okay, so we're gonna search and it should be right in the middle of uh, Sakura season as well. So it's a pretty hot time to go. Now, let's take a look. Do we have anything for the flight for business class, obviously? And going over to JFK, you'll be flying the uh, new business class, uh, which is on their uh, Airbus A350. So it's a very very good experience i i haven't experienced it myself uh, i do have a flight book on it though so let's see it's oh i only see premium economy but but over here this one right here it's leaving Sapporo to jfk uh via haneda so let's just expand the detail so flight one you're flying from Sapporo to haneda and then flight two haneda to jfk on business class over here for only 60,000 miles and $45 in fees. That's crazy, right? So, but just to show you, just to show you uh, the availability, you can check this calendar here. I don't know if you know this trick, uh, but you can open this calendar and you can search a lot faster. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, one stop or fewer because there's no direct flight from uh, Sapporo to JFK and we want to select business class okay and let's see here we have three dates okay it's not a lot but let's take a look over here in May we got a lot more okay so this getting to uh, the summer season and in June look at that so I would say there is actually an increased inventory after this will show up because I don't think there's that many uh, business class availability for uh, Haneda to JFK or Japan to JFK and especially on their uh, newer model claims and uh, newer product uh, in business class so that's very exciting if you move on into the middle of summer it's a lot less and that's understandable but what about going back though what about uh, Christmas right so let's let's just click back you bear with me uh, let's see here go back go back March you have a lot look at that uh, March is not quite spring break and it's in between season so it, it, maybe it's good to go it's it's also the start of um, Sakura season so it might also be a nice time to go and uh, February you have some in February as well 
I, I want to say this is more than what I would expect in January, okay? And we have a lot for December, which is uh, Christmas break, right? You can even go during Christmas. So that's quite nice. Now, interestingly, as we all know, Alaska Airlines can also book JL flights. However, I think we're getting different results. So let's take a look over here, actually. Let's take a look at the date. This is April 16th, right? So we have one seat in business class from Sapporo to Haneda to JFK, uh, departing 3.10 p.m. and arriving at 6.25 p.m. And if you actually go over to the Alaska Airline website, you'll have this same flight. However, this is the only option. Everything else is in premium economy. This is the only business class that you can redeem for. But with American Airline, you have this 155 option. You have this 105 option. You also have this 1155 option and 1050 AM option. So you actually have a lot more uh, choices uh, on American Airlines than Alaska Airlines. So that's something to be aware of. Although I do understand that it's harder to get uh, American Airlines points and miles um, and it's easier with Alaska because you can just uh, purchase them. So now that we found our award ticket, we want to make sure that it's actually a good deal. So we will go to Google Flight and compare it to the cash price uh, to do that. In the interest of time, I already looked up the flight for us. So this is going to be uh, from Sapporo to Haneda all the way to JFK on April the 16th via Japan Airlines in business class. And the price is a whopping $5,543. So I have a good feeling that we're actually getting a pretty good deal this time. Okay, so let's get our calculator and do some calculating. Okay, so I remember it was 60,000 American Airlines miles multiplied by, let's just say, two cents per piece. Okay, so 0.02 equals $1,200, right? But there's always that fee that we need to add it or else it's not gonna be a an accurate calculation. So uh, we wanna add the $45.40 uh, in fees. So it comes out to be $1,200 and $45.40. Now we wanted to divide that by the $5,543 for the cash price and we're actually just paying 22% of that cash price. Minus the one will actually get a discount rate, which is a whopping 77.5% off of the cash price. That's great. That's a good deal. All right. If you find this information helpful, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel because we have much more coming your way very soon. Until then, have a good day.